Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another WIS Technology tutorial. In today's lesson, I'll be talking about Google Calendar. Um, something that's been on my wish list for a really long time is the ability to create repeating events in Google Calendar at irregular intervals. Now, what I mean is I work at a school that has an eight-day cycle. Um, making it extremely difficult for people to schedule meetings at regular intervals based on this A through H day, letter day cycle. So an A day might be a Monday one week, and the next week it comes around, it could be a Wednesday, it could be a Thursday, it could be a Tuesday. So it requires a lot of intense uh, data entry on a Google Calendar, um, and that's often very inefficient. Um, so I've been on this quest to uh, find a way to create a repeating events at irregular intervals. Um, and what we ended up doing was hiring a programmer. So what I'm about to show you is, is something that we're going to be using. And I will not be sharing any of the source code with you, but I'm hoping to at least generate some interest in the idea and I can provide contact information for our programmer if you would be interested in pursuing something uh, for your school as well. Um, so here we go. So let's fast forward now to the 2015-2016 school year and you're at the beginning of the year and you get your timetable as a teacher and you want to input it into Google Calendar. Well, we now, thanks to our programmer, have this uh, little wonderful uh, web app, um, which I've taken some liberties as to modifying a little bit of how it looks. Um, uh, and I'm just using my, my trainer, my Google Apps trainer domain to actually demonstrate how this, this works. So let's take a look at the UI. The first step here is, is it's simply telling me to add the events that I want to repeat to the Google Calendar of my choice. So I could create a calendar called My Schedule and then proceed to add my events on that schedule. Now, what I would typically do is add one entire cycle's worth of events. So if I have an A through H cycle, I would fill in my, my entire timetable for that one cycle. Step two is then to select which calendar to uh, grab the events from and, and create the repeating events. So I only have one calendar in this demo account, uh, so that's where they're all going to go. Now notice here it's asking to select the event, this is step three, that you want to repeat. Well, I don't have any events on there yet to repeat, but we'll do that in a minute. And then step four is basically defining if it's a full year course, a uh, semester course, or a semester two course. Um, so this is, gives it great flexibility um, in terms of allowing for full year entries, semester entries, so on and so forth. Um, and then at the very bottom is just one click of the button, and seconds later, the entire year is populated with classes. Sound good? All right, let's demonstrate. So going back to step one, I'm simply going to add a couple of classes. So let's go here. The first day of school is August 31st. So let's say from 8 to 9, I'm teaching maybe a biology class. I'm just going to create that event. And then maybe on the B day, I have a chemistry class here. From 10 to 11. And then maybe on D-Day, from 1 to 2, I have a physics class. And staying with the sciences, I'll create an event. Perfect. So now I'm going to come back to this web app. I'm just going to simply refresh it. Notice it's now going to pull events from my calendar. And it says here, oh, on an A day, you want to have a biology class. And then this is the date range. So I'm just going to do a full year class, right? 
So the way the script works is, is it's pulling the, the start date is basically today. Um, but the range that it will actually populate the calendar is actually in between um, August 31st, 2015 and June 15th, 2016. So I'm just going to leave this as is for a full year course. And I'm going to click create the repeating event. And you're going to see how quickly this happens. So right now, biology has been created for A days. Okay. I don't even have to leave this web app and I can go on to my next class. I can go to chemistry. It's going to load. I'm going to click the repeating event. And then the, on a D day, I said I had physics again, just as a full year course. I'm going to click creating repeating events. Now, had I wanted just a semester two course, I would set the range from January 25th to June 15th, so on and so forth. So if I look back at my calendar, you'll notice now on my A days, I have my biology, my B days, C days. This is all populated, automatically skipping weekends, holidays, and professional days. So it's, it's a huge time saver in terms of data entry in the calendar. And as I said at the very beginning of this video, if this is something you would be interested in customizing for your school, I can point you in the direction of a person who can help you do that. Um, so anyway, I hope you like this idea of creating irregular repeating events, especially if your school is uh, cycle-based like ours is. Thanks for watching.